Welcome to the Venus and Mars Show, and we're happy as usual to have you here with us tonight. I'm Peter, or Mars. I'm Anne, Venus. Tonight we have a guest that's a returning guest, John J. Fahey. Love and, him. Hmm? Love him. John J. Fahey will be here along with his uh, partner in, the, what, in they're this going, what they're going to be talking yeah. about, Elaine Gray. And uh, they'll be discussing a very interesting project uh, that I think you'll find compelling. Definitely. Uh, and maybe even a little bit um, spooky in some ways. It is a little creepy. Yeah. Um, but before we have them on, how you been? Been okay, and yourself? Yeah. I'm, I'm well, uh, did, are, you, uh, are you okay? I mean, I don't know if you want to talk about what happened, but. A little fall on the black ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she, yeah, Anne had a fall on the ice. As you can see, she's fine. But just a, uh, another reminder: we have to watch out. As you were what, just coming out of work, going into going into work. Yeah, but as you can see, she's as good as she's right as rain. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Of it. <laughs> well, shall we? Uh, shall we bring on our guests? I would love it. Welcome back, John, to our show. Good to have you back, and Elaine. Welcome Thank to you. our show. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here. Thank you, Peter. For those Thank of you, you who don't know, Elaine, this is Elaine Gray, and this is John J. Fahey. John has his own show on the BNN Network, which we've been asked to be on previously and loved appearing, so thank you for that. And now I understand that you two are working together on a project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for Peter for, for bringing us back, bringing <laughs> myself back, and Elaine. Uh, Elaine and I are working on a project together. We've been working on it for a few years. We've had the opportunity to go on a few television programs. Thank you for inviting us on this one as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elaine's going to talk about what, what Elaine does. And, uh, but what we're doing together is we're talking about the accidental pope by former mayor of Boston and former ambassador to the Vatican, Ray Flynn. Yeah, can you and just hold that up for the folks at home, sure. please? And uh, Ray wrote the book with Robin Moore almost okay. 20 years ago. Wow. Uh, and just recently finished the screenplay. So we're excited about that, and hopefully at some point that'll be made into a motion picture. Now, John, Robin Moore, you were saying that's, that's what's his background? So uh, he, Robin Moore, Moore uh, is an author, yeah. and um, the, um, I think his famous fame. Claim to fame. Claim to fame. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is uh, um, French Connection. French Connection. Yeah, because I thought wow. I heard that name. Yeah, no, I yeah, just French wow. Connection. Yeah, goes way back. Way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they worked. They collaborated together on this book, and the book is uh, somewhat prescient because even though it's twenty years ago that the book was written, it sort of mirrors the Vatican today and what's going on in our culture and our society. So it's pertinent. It's, it's applicable to today's world. It's a little scary, almost like a crystal ball he um, looked into. Yeah. I would away. say, right, right. <laughs> Did, does anybody ever watch that show, One Step Beyond? It was in like Oh, nice. yes. I've been watching a lot. I'm not, not going to delay here, but that would be perfect for that. The, the, right. the uh, host, John Newland, would be saying, how could he possibly know 20 years right. in mm -hmm. the future? But anyway. It's about, mm -hmm. it's about a man uh, who has his origins here in Massachusetts, one Bill Kelly, who is a uh, widowed uh, father, and somehow is elected to the papacy. Mm -hmm. It's a fluke, but <laughs> he is nonetheless elected to the papacy. The first lay person that we know of, yeah. and also the first person from the Americas. And uh, 2013, we had a pope from the Americas as well, the first person from the Americas, That's right. Francis. Francis. And there are a lot of different things that are in the book that sort of mirrors today's society too. Wow. Now it says it's a novel. Is this fiction or nonfiction? Or both it's, kind of it's, uh, it's fiction. Yeah. Um, because it's a story. But but the elements of reality are there too. That's it's it's right. real in a lot of different ways because it talks about the papacy, it talks about the mission of the Catholic Church. It talks about various things that go in uh, that are going on in society that what Ray did is he fashioned a story around the Vatican around the papacy mm -hmm. and the one person in the papacy that's trying to make a difference and that's Bill Kelly as the Pope Peter. 
Peter now, the Second. Was he compelled to write this book because he was so close to work? I think so. I think that Ray had. I think that's a that's 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 a uh, a good point. Anne. Ray was the ambassador to the Vatican yes. and worked very closely with John Paul II. In fact, there are parts of this book where the Pope goes to Africa. He goes that's to other right. areas of the world too. And Ray did that with the Pope too, and saw a lot of the disparity, a lot of the impoverishment, a lot of the mm -hmm. problems that that we see even today, and they saw then. And uh, he weaved a story around the importance of the church and the church's response to what's going on in the world. Wow. That's all I have to say. I'm kind of looking forward well, to this myself. Now, Elaine mm -hmm. and John, you have been... I don't like to use the word peddling. I'm not saying I'm sure. You've no. been going to on to various TV shows. We're talking shows. about it. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about it because Ray has a screenplay, okay. and we think it'll be a great motion picture. Right. And Ray, are all, uh, Elaine and myself are also involved with the entertainment industry. I mean, you've been nice enough to come on, and Elaine, too. The show that I do, and not the show that we that I do, that all of, all of you have been on, it's, it's promoting the movie industry. It's promoting yes. the entertainment yeah. industry. It's right. promoting the film. And, and, and Exactly. Yeah. And so I think this fits. Yeah. Now, getting to your contribution mm -hmm. to all of this, Elaine, I know you have an extensive background, <laughs> but if you could just give us a synopsis for the people at home to know what kind of history you have in the industry, that would be helpful. I would do that, gladly. Uh, I've worked in marketing throughout my life um, in one way or another. Uh, I've been in a real estate business and the entertainment business for a long, long time. and. Um, promoted nationally and internationally projects that come up. Not necessarily films, but books, films, art, um, the creation of an art center. But with this book, um, it's very interesting because I project that I worked on in the 80s, I, w I met um, Ray Flynn, and I promoted projects to him, art projects, um, with Robert Gilliman, who is Sidewalk Sam, and uh, we created art projects throughout the city of Boston during his Mayor Flynn's term. And I end up, uh, as an actor, being on John's show, and we also worked on a couple of films together. And one of the times we were working on the film, <clears throat> we were in um, holding, and we both start chatting, and he remembered Sidewalk Sam. He remembered the days of Mayor Flynn because he interacted with them too. But we started chatting it up and said, whoa, talk about the book, talk about things. We should talk to Mayor Flynn and see ex-Mayor Flynn, but the ambassador, and find out if he's interested in having us go around and promote it. And we started doing... talking about it on various shows. Yeah. yeah. So he was very um, approachable, at least on it? Well, he was supportive. I've done a few shows with him about the book as well. Okay. He's, been, he's been on, and we've done a few other, we've done a few other uh, shows about it. But Boston and Massachusetts, and I'm going to say Boston in particular, mm -hmm. and, well, Massachusetts too, the Bay State. Right. Um, there's so much talent. There's so many people. You just had an author on couple of weeks ago yes. from the area. Yes. And and you've had New other England, people on New, Eng New, New England, England, the region, really exactly. The region. There's so much going on in Boston. Look at all the people from Boston mm -hmm. that made it in the film industry. Yeah. Cambridge, Boston, you know, the surrounding areas. So uh, the talent's out there. And we feel that the book is good enough that it's uh, great. Well, at being... the time that we talked, Mayor Flynn was still working on the screenplay. Right. So we just started making the route. Well, now... We're talking about packaging it, getting it out there, getting funding, getting interest in the movie enough that we it's just going to can the have. And I don't realize people people may not realize step. how difficult that is. Oh, what an arduous process, right? The Elaine? folks at home understand. I mean, you've got the product, but now you've got to have the packaging and the everything right. that goes along with it to well, make it on the screen. they're all very different. Right. Every single part of it. I mean, a book is done one way, a screenplay is done a whole another way, right. and then you have a movie which is completely different from the other yeah, two. Yeah. But yeah, they're all surrounding the same topic. So mm -hmm. you got to give them all their just due to make them the, the best that they right. can be. Right. And you need to put a team together and do all that. So we've done all the pre-work. Uh, 
We've talked right. about it. We've done a few. Yeah. We've done some promotions. About how already. long has this been in the in the works? I mm, guess a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, we've been doing it for a couple. Mm. Of I mean, years. I didn't expect yeah. to hear a couple of months. No, no, no. no, no, I didn't. Oh, a lot more though. than a couple of years yeah, because you know, I, right. writing the screenplay. Don't forget, the book's twenty years old. The screenplay has been completed about a year. Yeah, but it's and very exciting. It's exciting. Project. It's a cliffhanger, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, people might very well find it a very interesting project. Mm -hmm. Some of these projects can take up to ten years or more. Oh, sure. oh right. Depending on what people do with them and how they get through it, just mm -hmm. to make them just right for the release. You know. Right. But getting on to more of the things that you've done besides that project too, Elaine. I know I see you on Imagine <laughs> Magazine here. Yes. This was a great cover. This was their only one that they did a double cover on. Right. And this and a double um, insert. Insert uh, the, too. Yeah, the middle page is what do you what call it? What month was that? Oh, so I want people to We're buy on it centerfold. if they want to see the, the yes. insert. But I'll let them see the cover as a teaser. How's that? Right. But that was uh, Carol Patton. Uh, is the publisher of Imagine Magazine. She's an amazing woman uh, in the industry, in yes. the entertainment industry. She promotes uh, everybody in the industry, you know, and she's just very creative, very dedicated, and it was so exciting to work on this, to be And what was this chosen. highlighting? I don't think the people at home oh, can see Oh, it's highlighting, I can't, I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> 14 fabulous actors, age 50 and over, Achieving that is, overachieving that is. Well, because a lot of people don't think that you can make it after 20 years old. I know. <laughs> they think you're done. You're over I with know. the industry, right? No, right. But look at these gorgeous women on both sides. I know. You can that open it amazing. and show the whole Let's see thing. Here. Just, we'll just open that. And there you go. That was really That's great, something. Huh? Yeah. She really did this cover justice, oh, both yeah. covers. Yeah. So it was fun. And now I see a lot of familiar faces. Yeah, John, know, do you see yeah, a lot of familiar faces? Yeah, there are a lot of yeah, the do. South Shore. And, I believe I do, anyway. Yeah. I was yeah. going to yeah. say, is that no? Yeah. And <laughs> all these girls. It's, a, a it's, a, it's now a little sisterhood. Exactly. Yeah, it's so cool. I was really happy to be part of that. John, we're not on there, by the way. Um, the new <laughs> men's version. Okay. You just hold on. We're not there. Well, this was celebrating women in the industry? <laughs> Correct. No, no, I'm only, I just want to see the retort. I hear the retort. Yeah. Women in the industry, in which we have women in film in the industry now that the organization, which is going great guns. So, so you don't really have just one job in the industry. No, you I, do multiple jobs. Oh yeah, I wrote, saw your resume. I so do. I broad. I've, broad. I've reinvented myself through the years, uh, so many times because I was an entrepreneur at an early age. Uh, I had oh, I had a real estate company, and uh, I an artist. And I founded the Watertown Center for the Arts, which is now the Mosesian Theater, Mosesian Center for the Arts. And that was in the 70s. And that's when I started being an entrepreneur so that I could help to create an art center, a regional art center at the Arsenal. And I started getting involved in uh, everything, Chamber of Commerce, uh, you know, just what everybody does when they're in business. Do you still and dabble in the real estate industry? I actually retired my office about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to move things home to make it easier. I still will do a project if it's somebody from high school or somebody wants me to do something, but I manage real estate. Uh, but I was a real estate broker and appraiser. I gave up the appraisal license, and I'm keeping my broker's license. Sure. When so, did you start acting? I started acting when I was in college. Um, I went back to school as an adult learner, 1997 yeah. to 2006. And every time as an adult learner, I had a difficult class during the semester. I would take, offset it with, because I've always been interested in acting since I was 12, but I offset it with a, um, a directing class or Shakespeare or acting class all throughout the nine and a half years. And I ended up graduating in 2006, and I was um, gifted uh, the opportunity of, to have a field of study in dramatic arts Aww. at the same time. I petitioned the college, and they granted it to me. Any college you want to give a shout out to? Harvard University. Beautiful. Extension Studies 
for adult learners. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. I have You're another welcome. question for you, Elaine. Okay, either. Where you find all the time to do all this. <laughs> I well, thought I was busy. <laughs> uh, I just stayed really busy yeah, throughout the exactly. years. I've slowed down a bit, but now I'm concentrating on acting and writing for Imagine Magazine and others. And um, I've directed a couple of films, but I'm on a slower pace. But you're enjoying the acting, it sounds um, like. You're so much. It. I now, love it. I love it. You have several clips. Several clips. I did. There's one that uh, you were... <laughs> I saw with you with Frankie. Yes, I, Frankie and Bergano. I know, I know him. I'm friend. Well, not well, but I'm friend. You know, and I've worked with him on the set, but I can't. I could never, you know, pronounce his last name. The pizza maker. So the chef too. Yeah, so he's you, a chef. What can you tell us about that? And maybe we can show the audience that real quick. That the the little clip that you're going to see is kind of a, it's a funny little clip that was actually something that we did. Imagine Magazine was having a. Um, we were doing a film, it was a parody on one of the movies that were going up for awards. And so we did the parody, and during the lunch hour, uh, Jamie Ryan, uh, many of you might know him, Jamie Ryan said, uh, how would we let the new camera, and let's do this little thing at the table, uh, just the four of us. And um, so it was Frankie and Bergano, um, it was, um, uh, Jamie Ryan, myself, and Demi Lane, and we that the that's the background. But it was like just like off the cuff. Do you want to? But it was fun. I loved it. Let's, it was uh, fun. Let's have an, let's let the audience see this for a second. Yeah. Let's show it now. <laughs> the music in that. It's almost like an Italian type of music or yeah. something going on. What's the girl jumping up from behind the... Uh, I couldn't see it and have my glasses. She's, she had clothes she's, on. He, right? Well, Jamie said, oh, she's such a... Pe she's like a size of a minute. Yeah. He said, I'd like to have her coming out of a muffin. And he went off and he got a pistachio muffin <laughs> and he wrapped it up and it's uh, Frankie's birthday. I'm the mom, Frankie's the dad, and Jamie's our kid. And he gives the dad the muffin and he's sitting there and she jumps up out of the muffin and I get upset. I'm jealous. Jealous well, Italian mother. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna we're gonna come back as if mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> well <laughs> that was a lot of fun, huh? I like the music. I did it, too. I sort of giving you the uh yeah. little bit of a Jump in your shoes. <laughs> right. I, I play an Italian mother, and I'm Frankie's wife. And Jamie's our son. Jamie brings the muffin to the table, and it, he, it's a pistachio muffin. And uh, Demi Lane is like the size of a minute. And he said, we're going to have her jump out of the muffin. And I get upset. I get jealous. So that's what it was all about. Yeah, well. Like I said, I couldn't tell if she had clothes on. I think she did, right? Oh, yes, yeah, she did. She <laughs> definitely had clothes on. Yeah. Well, she's in the distance. Right. And she's behind like a hassock or something. Right. If you saw it on a full screen, oh, you yeah. know she had clothes it's on. It's my eyes. But it's small. My eyes, too. Yeah. So after doing all these things in the industry, what would be your favorite, favorite thing to do? My favorite thing? Well, I love mentoring young people and old people. I love love that not as a paid person but just i have liked and enjoyed doing that in the acting world in the acting world or are you doing directing or any kind of advice the directing or you i can love give? the directing because i'll tell you as an artist you know you get um, you get a block and you 
you can't uh, function as an artist for a while. And the first thing that I directed, I couldn't believe it. I directed um, Late with Brian Casey down at BC Films in Rhode Island. And it was a 16 minute short film. And as a director, I, I made storyboards myself and it got me back into art, the art. But then I had all the cast to work with, their wardrobes and the background and what I wanted it to look like. And I said, when I saw it on the screen, I said, oh my God, I'm painting on the screen because it's, that's what it felt like. My, my vision, you know, taking on all Brian's of, all vision. All of your art taking right. on, came to life. Yeah. Yeah. Because I decided uh, Enku Gabai is, uh, is one of the stars. And she, um, I pictured her with an umbrella, like a, like a Monet or a Surratt, you know, and, and that came to life in the film. And it, and it was just, it was fascinating. So I, I really loved that aspect, but I like acting, I have to tell you. So I wanted to do it since Were I was Were you too 12. critical of yourself since you did so many things behind the scenes and behind the camera, in front of the camera for that project? Uh -huh. How critical were you? Well, I wasn't on the camera in that project. Oh, okay. I was so the director. All right. Yeah, which I, I really loved. Yeah. But, uh, but I love, I'm taking Peter Kelly, Kelly workshops nowadays. I've taken tons of workshops. But um, I'm improving and I'm getting some speaking roles. So I'm Good excited about that. Uh, no. That's the yeah. goal. Yeah. 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 That's the it. goal. You know, yeah. I, they, they might be small speaking roles, but I'm speaking. Are you going to plan on being in this, John? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Don't well, it, it, <laughs> the main thing is that we're promoting it. Yeah. We're talking about what a great project it is. Right. And we're trying to whet people's appetites that, hey, maybe, maybe it's going to be something that we'd like to see on the, you know, Big screen. Yeah, and, that's the and, important and goal. And move from there. That's right. What we're yeah, but will this for. end up one of those movies? They always happen. They they film in Boston, but they cast out of. Well, New no, York well, no. And actually, LA. It, that, it may be. I don't know where it would be filmed, but it takes place all over the world. Well, it yeah. takes place at the Vatican. Yeah. It takes place here in Massachusetts. It takes place in Africa, and other locations as well. So right now, I think that's a little bit premature to think about. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is to get people interested in it and to get the, the word out that it is available. Right. But at the same time, we could use Hollywood East down here of in the course. Weymouth base. It's and so important put that because we have so much Vatican. going on in this area. Right. We have so much going on. It would the be wonderful. That we have here. Yeah. But, you know, there's so, so much coming to Boston now. We want to keep it coming, too. And we're going to keep it coming and the series going. There's so much happening in the industry that wasn't here a few years ago. Now it is because... And just a little a promotion, a little promotion, yeah. you get right. there, little by little. And well, whether we work on it as an actor or not, that's yet to be seen. It's more important to talk it up and, and move, it along, move it along. We're getting the message out, and that's the most important yeah. at this yeah. point. Absolutely. So if you wouldn't mind just holding it up one more time oh, for the people at, at home all. for us. The Accidental Pope yes. by Ray Flynn and Robin Moore. And it is available on Amazon.com. And we're hoping it's going to be a major motion picture at some point. Yes. Now, if any of the folks at home had questions about this project, can they reach either one of you? Yes. yes. Okay. So do you want to... We're on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Elaine's on Facebook. It's under John Joseph Fahey. Okay. And also, if you go on my Facebook page, you'll be able to see the shows that Elaine and I have done and the shows that we are going to be doing. That's right. And you'll see the show that you and, and Peter were on, too. Not you know, again, John. <laughs> so that's out there as well. So it's under John Joseph Fahey on Facebook, and I think okay. that's probably the easiest way of doing it. And if people did have in, uh, comments about this or, or questions about this, I'd be more than happy to Absolutely. answer that for you. And Elaine, if you want Mine is Elaine Gray on Facebook and IMDB me slash Elaine Gray. And they can see about my background and my film Elaine, background. Elaine, I think it's very important to the audience that we spell your name. G-R-E-Y. G-R-E-Y, -E -E you're right. No, 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 because I, I think I told you, I worked for Ropes and Gray, which was a law firm in Boston, right. and I couldn't keep the spelling straight. No, gray, that's very important. Because they both yeah. look right to me. Elaine when I write Gray. And they are both correct. G-R-E-Y. Yeah, but, but, right. Based on where yeah, but, but I just, was using yeah, it. I just right. wrote her name as A, and I just... It's G-R-E-Y. Yeah. Right. But the way to remember it is Elaine is, well, starts yeah, with a true. E, right, right, Gray right, right. is a Well, it's just that we're saying we can reach you. I want to make sure they're typing in the right, you know. That's right. Right. 
because they might it. be in a relationship. And that's so important. But, you know, social media is out there, too. And, and if you, you want to see some information about the book or about the shows that we've done, by all means, we're out there on social media. So Do you think you'll start us. a web page on this on Facebook? Maybe we're, we will think about that. We're yeah, think about that at yeah. this point. Which is now what we're trying to do is get people to talk about it. Yep. To to uh, have an interest in in pushing this for you know project forward. Sure. And uh, in discussion. But yeah. if you did do that, I'd be happy to share that page. Oh, thank so, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you know, you. let us know, and we'll send it off to the folks at home. Right. Great. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, oh my you're pleasure. welcome. It's so thank good you. to see you yeah, again. It's it's obviously, we couldn't capture everything you're doing in such I a short know, time. Lance. But uh, we'll I have you back. Thank you for it was fun. talking to us about what we did talk about. Right? Yeah. yeah. We talked I think about we covered a lot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I wish we had a little bit more time for what they had to talk about. I don't think we, they, they didn't even come close to having the time what they, I think they were going to be able to, would have covered. Oh, what do you absolutely. Think? I think Elaine's resume is just enormous. Of course, John, we're very familiar with him. I you, love him as a host. I follow him all the time. But uh, Elaine has quite a bit, and it's hard to get it all when yeah, you only have a couple just minutes. Yeah, hit the iceberg. But you know, we'll have we'll have her back. Uh, ha yeah. Have them back, hopefully, yeah. and show how this is project haven't is progressing. Had, haven't we had John enough on this show? Well, not about this project, <laughs> though. No, I'm just, sorry, John. Um, no, great to have them on, though. Yeah, and I'm we very look, excited yeah, to have yeah. uh, a part of Ray Flynn, you know, yeah, the old well, Irish yeah. Boston history. Yeah, are you uh, related happening. to him a little bit? Well, I don't think so. Yeah, but no, Flynn is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somewhere along the yeah. line, way back in the old country, yes. Oh, all right. Well, that, that does it again for the uh, end of another nice show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we hope you enjoyed it. We do. Yeah. And uh, I'm Peter. Or Mars. <laughs> and I'm Anne Venus. Where planets align and often collide. collide. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>